Does she know I'm late? <laughs> Not that big of an office, I'm sure she noticed. Why so late? Did you finally drop the jerk? He dropped me before I could. It was weird. <laughs> oh, don't let me interrupt. Please, share all your dating problems. I could remind you you should be working right now. Now you've finally joined us, you could prioritize this action item. Get an interview for the finance column with the Fletcher Group CEO this week. But he never does interviews. Like, not ever since he took over as CEO. And why isn't this my interview anyways? I, I don't even care if he can speak English. Get the interview. Set it up. Or your upcoming performance review might be your last one. What a bitch. No. There's no way she can get it. She'll be out of here as soon as I tell my boss about her poor performance. No problem. I'm glad you found out she worked here. I wanted her gone a while anyway. Don't worry about it, Sally. Anyone messes with you, they mess with me. Late. I was about to leave. So this is your ex? What is this? <clears throat> it's over, darling. I wanted to tell you some other way. Now you're but... cheating on me while this stripper gives you a lap dance? Stripper? <laughs> you hick. My family owns half this city. Oh, that makes sense. It's over, darling. At least you won't have to worry about splitting the rent when you move in with her. Hey. I paid for some stuff. When? Did I miss something while I was paying for food, rent, your student loans for years? How much? Hello? I said how much. Add it up. Right now, Skank. When I think about all the things I had to do, supporting both of us, thirty grand. Bullshit. I know the numbers. Here. Take it. Just water. Grant, are we really doing this again? Why shouldn't I drink? My grandson refuses to get married and finally give us an heir to the Fletcher Group Company. What's the point of going on? Yeah, thanks so much for setting me up on yet another blind date. It's late. Let's go. Fine, I'll go. I'll go to hell. Grant, not this again. If you don't tell me you're getting married, I'm gonna end it right here. He is. Right, honey, we are. Um, I'm Darlene, Andy's fiance. <laughs> Lunch, anything, it's paid for. I'll call you later. Wait, what about the... Divorce. Andy's fiance. <laughs> oh, this is great. Well, that settles it. We have to celebrate. Three more, not waters. You're gonna play alone for a while? It's just a contract after all. Sure. That's a decent proposal. <laughs> well, I finally got Grant in a car, but at least she's happy. She'll be watching us like a hawk for a while. Will you stay with me till then? All night, or what do we do? Well, we celebrated. I drank a lot. But when City Hall's office is opened, we tied the knot. Oh my god, we actually did it. Oh, uh, you aren't with someone. You didn't say... No, no, no. My ex-boyfriend is... dead. We can end all this right away. Hold on, no rush. I mean, frankly, my grand would kill me. And maybe herself if she found out we got divorced right away. 
We have to stay together for a bit. Look, don't drive. Take this, call a cab. Lunch, anything, it's paid for. I'll call you later. Wait, what about the... divorce? Hey, I've been thinking about you. Funny. Um, listen, are you by any chance a billionaire? Uh-oh. Yeah, my secret's out, huh? Oh, um, why didn't you say anything? I like the way you came to my rescue without knowing who I am. Why? Having second thoughts? Well, I barely had the chance for first thoughts. I can't believe I married Andy Fletcher, billionaire tycoon. Something wrong? No, listen, um, I hate to ask, but could you do me a favor? Anything. Just ask. I work at the Daily Brief, and uh, they want... We want you for an interview. I know you don't like... Sure. Sure? I'll do you one better. So I take it you're still in the same clothes because you finally showed up to one of those blind dates. Can't be seen going around on dates, Owen. I'm a married man. What? You're wasting my time. We got the interview. Oh, and by the way, he placed an offer to purchase the site. <laughs>